Is it even open? It's closed. Is it closed? Yeah. We're going to have um, some lunch at the Yao Nut serious? Cafe. <laughs> no way. Closed. Where's it so closed? <laughs> On the door over there. Oh, bullshit. Oh. <laughs> Always. We want to support these towns and whenever we so come, we've everything's just done closed. So we've $4 worth of shopping in their little caravan yep. store over there. So down pa down past the Yao Nut Cafe, right down there is the caravan park in Yao and a little tiny general store we spent $72, $74. Yeah. Pretty stock. Bloody good prices in there. Well, let's go back and have some lunch at home. Yeah. Oh, yeah, on that cafe. Is that what times they're open? We'll have a look. So if you come into Yawa, don't come to the Yawa Cafe on a Tuesday. Monday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then for pizzas, only at 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesday closed. Wednesday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sunday's closed. Okay. It's also the Barb's Yawa Information and Gift Shop here. I wonder if that's open. Nope, that's closed too. Here we are. We're at Alroy Station. It's kind of halfway between Yulo and Yawa. Um, I think we yesterday we went into Yawa and it was like 31 kilometers that way and Yulo was that way. Anyhow, I'm going to take you through, oh there's flies, I'm sorry, there's so many flies. I'm going to take you for a walkthrough of the um, camping grounds at Alroy um, and I'll put it on fast, you know, I'll speed it up if I can figure out how to do that and um, yeah, we'll, we'll go for a nice walk and, and see you at the end. So I've tried something different with all that and I tried to put it on hyperlapse. See, normally I stick it on my editing program and speed it up. So I tried to do hyperlapse this time. I'm hoping everything came out as it should. But anyhow, behind me are three toilet, little toilets, toilet slash showers. And then um, I'll go back down to the artesian bath. There's... Um, two of those So much different bird life out here and just noises just out back noises. It's like of all the different animals All right, here are the baths Apparently the water is extremely hot so you have to put cold in there for sure Can you see all those poles with the um, see right here all these poles along so they've all got water taps and if you need to fill up your water you, you're allowed to do that um, apparently it's from the artesian ball but it can sometimes be a bit stinky but it's it's okay to drink so I've been told anyone can correct me down below in the comments 
Have you ever heard of the um, event that happens in the outback called Fire to Fork? It happens here at Alroy Station. One thing I did forget to mention was there is also a dump point provided, which was fantastic because we got here and we needed to empty. Um, I knew it was here, so I said to John, just wait from, from you, Lyle. I said, just wait till we get here. Um, yeah, so come to Alroy Station Campgrounds. It's fantastic. Absolutely loving it. Doing. Oh well, so we're at El, uh, blah, blah. We're at Elroy Station. Elroy Station. Outback Queensland. Bloody beautiful. Ten dollars per person per night. Free really firewood. nice. And it's kind of in between. Oh yeah, free firewood. It's oh, and also you can access water. You don't have it hooked up all the time, but there there are taps around where we can fill up. Shower toilets. Yes, and artesian baths that we can soak in after dinner, but. Ten dollars per person per night. Pretty good. Yeah. Good living. What I'd, of you? I'd live here with that. How nice. What of you? Every site has its own little fireplace. And you can pick to camp along the river here or over near the amenity block which has got a camp kitchen. And then we often get asked you right there with that funny look. How tall I am? Yeah, no. Six we, nine. <laughs> we often get asked what we're cooking. So I've got John to get the Weber out tonight. And I was going to cook a potato bake, but I haven't got any potato bake stuff. And I don't know how to cook it without the sachets. Sachets. How do you say I was going to say sachets. Sachets. So, <laughs> I've had some ouzo today. I can't talk. Oh, my God. I'm um, No, I know. It's hot. It's hot. So I chopped up some pumpkin. Here, show everyone. Put in some frozen chips. It's frozen what? Frozen chips. <laughs> I'm having chips. What are you having? <laughs> frozen chips. And we're going to cook some steak and some eggs. I did turn them. But it's the first time we've had the Weber out on this trip. So I'm yeah, happy. It is the first time. Tomorrow nice we'll show you yeah. a little bit of the hour. And... On this property, there's a little grave site. One, right one there, grave. Yeah. And there's a bit of a story to it. So we're actually going to show you in this video what it is because the lady, Mary, that owns the property. Oh, lovely people, eh? So like, nice. Wow. Um, she said she's not going to tell us the story. But I figured it out. Um, there's a plaque over there and she said, read the plaque and, yeah. So used to be the Cobb Co. used to stop out the front. Yeah. How nice is this? How cool would that be? But I am glad we've got aircon these days though. Oh, and with, oh, we didn't ask her about the generator. No, so many people now. It's too loud. We were, we're here by ourselves, right? We were. I don't want to disturb There's some body. people just camping up there in a tent. Daughter, it's not that hot. It's not that hot, but our daughter sent us a generator. She said, Dad, take the generator. I said, I don't want to use it, but she said, take it. I just wanted to try it out. But now there's too many people around. Yeah, we weren't going to bring a generator on this trip, and she said, you're mad because we are going into hot. Outback Queensland. It's going to be hot. Um, we've chosen the wrong time of the year to come. But... We're tough. We're from the days where we had no air con, <laughs> yeah. and they don't understand that. No, but we thought, I oh, will. We'll, we'll try a generator, but not when people are around. No, no, no. It's too noisy. Yeah. I don't want to disturb anyone. I wasn't going to run it all day anyway. I just wanted to see how it worked. No, only, only in the night. But the fact, it's not that hot in the caravan. No? Mm -mm. Not at all. We'll burn on in there. Oh. oh my god. Oh well that is, didn't turn out too bad. Looks pretty good. Time to eat. So we took the road that Mary told us to take to find this 
this grave that belonged to the homestead. We followed all the pink ribbons. We've just spotted and I reckon we've we've probably walked one and a half kilometers or maybe a kilometer. Feels like a hundred kilometers. But anyhow, here it is up here. In loving memory of Eric Connolly, date of birth, 28th of March, 1904. These are twins. Eric and Percy Connolly. Date of birth, 28th of the 3rd, 1904. Eric died 15th of March, 1904. And Percy died the 20th of March, 1904. Beloved Thanks sons God. of Patrick, 1858, and Emma... 1863 so Patrick Connolly and Emma Martin and they got married in 1881 brothers of James Annie Francis Hilda Hazel Thomas or oh, Thomas Bedford and then Thomas Patrick George Arthur Violet and Edward God how many kids were they did they have A lot. oh and look Annie died 18 born 1886 died 19. 1892. So we've got to go and look up the history of the Cobb and Co that come through here, John. Yeah. So two little bubbers are in here. And look, this is what it's like. So I wonder if there was a house nearby, John. I don't know. Or she said something about the Cobb and Co horse came through here. So Maybe they died on the horse ride. Maybe there was a route through here. Yeah. And they died and they just buried them on the side. I wonder. Yeah, I like stories like that. Yeah, it's going to be good. Hopefully I'll be able to find information about it. I think it's interesting the way the Cobb and Co used to come out here in this harshness. You bloody prickles again. John has oh. a habit of steering away from me here. It's just like I smell or something. Well, I didn't I want to say anything. I try to keep you in the, in the doobie. Oh. Yep, there's lots of flies. We'll see you soon. Right. So the cafe's open today. I know, right? We're having some cheers, chippies and some potato scallops. For lunch. Very good. Nice. Mm. Okay. So we're supporting locals. Nice yeah, guys. Yep, got great for yesterday, field today and food today. Food today. This little one horse town. Very small, isn't it? It's such a small town. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jesus. You do a bit of filming, he says. No, right? As soon as you do that, the bloody. There's two chairs over there. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. Under a tree. So we've taken the drive, what do you reckon, about four kilometres out of town at Yawa? Yeah, about four k's. Dirt road. Um, dirt road, John had fun. But we've come to the bluff. Oh, and Yawa has 5G. Did you look? Yep, 5G. Okay, so this is the bluff. So it's kind of like up a hill and it's a plateau. But it shows you 360 yeah. degree. Um, of Australian landscape, you just don't realise how fast. Yeah, so if it floods, it's a place to come. I reckon. Because we are, yes, yeah, turning around, spinning around, getting the ball. Right. Just like goes on for miles. In miles, in miles. It's incredible. Someone would have to own that land, eh? All that. Yeah, I wonder if it's like some it. a station or something. I don't know. It looks like it just floods, I reckon. Then way out in the background over there, there's all um, more mountains. It just looks like a painting, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah, so there's miniature railways. And, um, and they've got the little trees in the hill yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But even look how the sun is sort of over some of them. The clouds are making a shadow. That's cool. I wonder if I can zoom in on that. I don't know if you can see that, but can you see? 
Can you see the, the different light, like the sun over the trees, then the clouds? Looks unreal. Just walking over. It's got like this little circuit thing you drive on. It's a fire pit. It's even, is that a barbecue? And apparently people come up here for the sunsets. And I can see why it would be absolutely beautiful. We're well, just driving through town with the three buildings in it. Oh, no, it's really nice. It's a small town, the three, guys. That one building had like six, six, building, uh, six, um, what do you call it? Um, businesses in there, laundromat, the library. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyhow, I just spotted this and I thought that we'd have to film it. The yeah, hour's first fire truck. I reckon we can get up and running. That's so cool. Always walks in front of me. Can't walk around me. Always oh, walks in sorry, front of me. I forgot, I forgot. Always. Got okay. <laughs> What's it? got aircon in it. Where's the aircon, John? Fan. Yeah. It's good aircon. Can you open it? No. Hey, hey, but look at the John. It's not gonna don't walk in front of me. I was gonna walk in front of you. Yes, you again. were. Look at the tire, it's not gonna go very far, is he? You're only flat in the bottom. Oh. What's wrong with that? True. God that's zoomed in a lot. Dead. John actually just said that's his fat head, so so their first fire truck. What is it, a, a dodge? I'm getting a bit of a complex. You are not. It's even got an RMA sticker on the window. Really? Yeah. That's cool, I like that. Where? Right here. Oh, it has too. You know you're not allowed to do this, right? <laughs> well, you can see the aircon better. Oh, look at the cobwebs in here. Is it in there? No, no. we scared this. Look at the cane ignition. We can take it for a spin. Where? Oh, there. Look. Can you drive stick? I can drive stick. My car's a stick. I'm dobbing on you. You made me do it. <laughs> oh, shit! Someone's coming. I'm not scared. Look, must have overheated at one stage. And they've sorted the problem out. The old grinder. Oh. How cool is that? Really? Yeah. Okay. 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 Then where we've parked over here, this is the hotter teas and spas. Now there is people in there. So I don't think I'm going to be able to film them. There's a little girl in there, so you can't really film Yeah. Now, the lady in the um, little cafe told us, see these clouds? They look full of water, don't they? And she said, it doesn't rain in the hour, or very rarely. She said the, the clouds um, tease them a bit. So lucky they've actually got the artesian water underneath, because they'd be pretty much stuffed, eh? Yeah, true. Okay, so for the artesian bars... It's kids under 16 free, daily pass is $5, weekly pass is $20, monthly pass $60 and a yearly pass $120. John, I'll just do this. Can you see the bars? I don't want to go any in there because I'm not going to film right in there because they've got children. He does this all the time. I am mad at him for this as well. Bloody walk in front of me all the time. Start the car up. You know one thing I like about this car? 
that it makes a no, noise when you start. It doesn't matter up. how hot it is. Your drinks never really get hot, hot, hot. What the hell has that got that? to do with an artesian spa I'm that we're talking about? I'm changing the subject because I was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a bloody hell, he started the car right next to me. But I tell you about how cold the drinks stay in oh, the car. Oh, Jesus. We're going back to our homestay. What do we call that place? Station. Station. Alroy Station. Alroy Station. Which is 31.5 kilometres away from here. Yeah. Roughly. Okay, let's go back. At $2.45 a litre. I know. Shoot, eh? Oh, well. Just to continue what that lady in a cafe said about the rain and the clouds, and she just, she was looking at the clouds, and she was like, oh, I wish it was going to rain. But then she gave us some, and told us something interesting, hey? Oh, I've forgotten already. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> he literally just said to me, I can't believe they haven't got this. What haven't they got here, John? We're talking about the rain. Oh, rain? Oh, for God's sake. I literally can't remember. <laughs> okay, she was saying there's no weather stations out in Yawa, so oh, they there's can't. No weather stations there's out no, Yawa. there's no warning of rain or anything because yeah. there's no weather stations out here. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. Probably because it doesn't rain out here. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, very interesting. She's a lovely lady. But there's the school, and the school literally it's looks like it's it's closed. It's closed. It's closed. It, it, there's so much um, long grass and weeds around it. I would imagine there's no kids at that school. I wonder where they get go to school. Was that just school of air, I'd say, maybe? Well, in Yellow, they said a lot of the kids go to um, boarding, boarding school. school. Yeah. So, but at Yellow, there were six kids that went to that school. Six kids? Yeah. Imagine the one on one time you could have though with only one, to, with one teacher with six, six kids. kids. How better it would be, yeah. would be than 36 or whatever packed in your class? I know, I know. The kids must be bright out here. They must. They would have learned a lot more if, if um, it was like that. You would have. I think I would have. I think you would have too. I've done well. Oh, 100 beauty. Okay, I'm turning off. It's going to get too much coffee. <laughs> So we're going to leave the video here. Um, our time at Our Roy Station has come to an end. Um, we were going to drone it to show you, but <laughs> in true John and Tracy style, been it's... lazy. That's it. <laughs> no bullshit. Just been lazy. Yeah, it's still is sitting in the box. We haven't even unravelled it yet. <laughs> it would have been really nice to show you it from above, but anyhow. But that's it right. also has been. It's windy, windy. Very windy and we don't know, oh see, and we don't know whether it will work, so. We had to pack the caravan up yesterday because it was so windy. And um, I've got some, uh, not some information, I've got a, a Tracy hint for all the women out there. When your husband says. Oh the, yeah, yeah, <laughs> when, yeah, yeah, I'm right again, <laughs> booyah! <laughs> when your husband says. We're getting low on batteries. Believe him. <laughs> Last night, John went to bed and he said, we're really low on the battery. And he has OCD and he becomes obsessed with stuff. And I just thought he was obsessed with his bloody um, mo battery monitor. Anyhow, it was 11.30 and I was editing a video for you guys. And boom, I went into darkness <laughs> and I said, John, something's happened. The lights have stopped. And he woke up and he looked at me. <laughs> I told you not to keep going. I didn't say it like that. It was a lot louder than that. <laughs> <laughs> so we had, um, there was not even enough power to power up the, the pilot light of the fridge. Um, we didn't even have enough power to put a little tiny dimming light on. No power storm. at all. So ladies, believe your husband. <laughs> so there, there actually is a um, little battery thing in the fridge we can put in. So I think that might keep the, the, the yeah. pilot light on. A little battery, you know, little case for little like double A batteries or something. And it hasn't got any batteries in it. So, so I think that might keep the pilot light So on. if that's the case, can you pop it in the comments below? What is that little battery case that's um, in the fridge? In the fridge. Because we don't know what it's for. No. 
Yeah. So, anyhow, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> right. See you at the next town. I'm half asleep. <laughs>